Okay, in this video I'm going to take a look at defining the thought path table. So far in the previous videos I've looked at this area here which is the VW or VAG code block and or table and I've looked at the one that's further along this way which was the P code table. Now both of these are arranged in rows of four and they feed into this area here, I've just highlighted in pink to make it obvious, they feed into this area and this is the fault paths. So this is where the previous information about errors feeds into. So if you've got an error up this way somewhere that's an EGR error, it might be one in a little row of four and that one of a little row of four feeds into one of the paths in here. And these are not arranged in little rows of four, they're not arranged in any rows at all, unless you count a row of one as being a row. Now you can't tell very much by looking at a 2D view, so I'll change to text view. Right, there's the VAG codes ending, I believe, so ending there. Now, I believe so far, from having a look at the two bits of the file, that I've got 383 P codes, 383 VAG codes, not as in codes, but as in little blocks of four where there would be codes. So I've got 383 of those, so that's 383, four, of the, four sets of those if you like, and then I've got 383, another four sets of those. So in total I've got, not 383 plus 383, but I've got two lots of 383, so tw two tables that are that size, each with four possible places in them for the code to exist. So that's two lots of four, so that's eight. So the two blocks between them are really giving me one big block in two halves, and that one big block is 383 blocks of eight possible codes and it's the eight which is the important bit because each of those blocks of eight whether it's a block of eight or two blocks of four it doesn't matter but each of those feeds into one thought path which means that there should be here 383 thought paths doesn't look very likely does it and the reason it doesn't look very likely is because it looks way too small the reason it looks way too small is we're looking at it, at it in 16 bit and these paths here are 8 bit so if I convert those to 8 bit still doesn't look as if there is as many of these as there is all of those up there but there is and the correct way to look at these is to look at them in a single item because that's how they would be considered to be. In other words, there would be four and four leading to just that number there. So I would have a row of four somewhere up here, up at here of P codes feeding just to that number there, that 001. And then I would have a, f a row of four up here somewhere VAG codes and they would also feed just to that one there. So that would be eight possible places where a code might exist and they would all feed to that single spot there. So if I've got a total of 383 rows, I only need 383 of these individual messages or paths. So I just need to count these and find out is there 383 it's as simple as that because if there's 383 of these then I know that this is probably the exact block that I want now if we look how many have we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 I've got 16 at the moment so if I make that 17 18 19 20 I'm just doing this for convenience to make them easier to count I'll move that across to there. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So that's 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83. So there's 383 path individuals there. And that matches our VAG blocks of four, which is up there. But these are 16 bit, these are 8 bit, so I need to change the view. Now you can see where this becomes quite difficult because when you're searching for this block, take a look at the numbers around it. How do you know that 001 there is the starting point? At first glance above, it's obvious 001 is much smaller than any of those numbers up there. But look, this might not have started with 001. You've got numbers like 025, 014. So how do you know that 022 there is not part of this, or 022 there is not part of this, or that 01 isn't part of this, or that 005 isn't part of this? So it can be quite complicated, and when you decide you want to know where the table is going to end, well, where does it end? Does it end at that 002, or does it end at that 00, well, triple O, or does it end at that 004, or at that 077, or that triple O? So it's quite difficult to work out where these tables start and end. The clue usually is finding the end of the VAG code block because the path block usually starts straight afterwards. So that gives you a starting point. And if you already know that 383 is the number that you're considering as important, then of course you can count from that point there. Right, now finally, before you actually consider doing anything with this data, you need to get your head around the fact that in reality, if you want to compare this data with the previous data, it should be arranged like that. Because that number is comparable with a row of four P codes or a row of four VAG codes. So there are four codes that feed into that point from the P code table. So there's a row that feeds into that point. And there is also a row of four VAG codes that feed into that point. So that point represents a path for four P codes, or four possible P codes, because they might not all be used, and four possible VAG codes. So there are eight possible codes feeding into that point, and eight more feeding into that point, and eight more into that point, and eight more, and so on. So every one of these has got eight possible codes feeding into it. And the number that you're looking at here is simply telling the ECU where to go to look next to decide what to do. So in other words, having got to this point, it's saying you need to act on instructions for 001. So all of those eight codes that fed into that point there are all going to be acted on a set of instructions that are for 001. So if you could go to 001 and look at it, you would see yet more numbers, and those numbers would be the set of instructions that are going to be acted upon. I'm not going to go into that at the moment because it just gets more and more and more complicated and realistically you don't need to know that information if you just want to get rid of a code that's plaguing you and won't go away. So you don't really need to go that far. Right, now before I go any further, this is obviously getting very, very, very complicated in the sense that not just the numbers and sizes of tables, but I'm going to have to keep flicking between 8-bit view and 16-bit view. So future videos explaining more detail about this will be in Excel. And to give you an idea of how they will end up in Excel, I will start the next video at this point, but then jump straight to Excel. Alright, I'll stop there.